Hey everyone, Archoga here, welcoming you to Unddd Feedable. Yeah, boy. Oh, it is awesome to be back. I apologize for the slight delay in just all video updates. Um, it's been a little crazy over here. Um, so I would like to officially announce that this episode is going to be rated C for Chicago and also rated C for Kachang Grabs. Yeah, you know that's weird. Why? Why isn't it just SH, man? Friggin. English language. <sighs> anyway, Smash Bros is happening. Um, <clears throat> I'll be honest. Um, I'm not really feeling that great. I feel like I may be getting a cold. Um, but there's I have I like so I have so many stories about things, and uh, like I just I wanna I still wanna record, man. Even though I sound like uh, hot doogie. So again, I apologize. Um, with that said, um, I wanna. I do want to say, um, I was, my really, my, like, true goal with this episode, also I totally thought I was going to, like, SD for a sec, um, my, like, one goal, um, was to really try to up my chain grabbing game, um, and uh, there will be a few attempts that I do it, but really, the, the, like, attempt to, like, end all attempts doesn't actually happen until the last match in this video, so if that's, like, your thing, if that's, like, the only thing you want to be watching for, um, I do recommend if you go to like, uh, and, uh, like have 16 minutes in probably, uh, it'll be there and uh, ready for your viewing pleasure. With that though, <clears throat> with that, um, my 16th birthday, or <laughs> 16th, my 21st birthday, there we go AJ, you can numbers maybe, was uh, last Sunday, 16th. Um, I can finally have the good times and feel the fire in my soul and guts. <clears throat> it's pretty good. It was pretty good. Um, we ended up going to Chicago and meeting up with my dad. Uh, me, we being me and my mom. We uh, stayed there for three days in total. And uh, the first day was more of like an exploratory thing. It wasn't really like... Um, we did a little bit of drinking. It wasn't crazy. We like went to this comedy club where... Got unlimited mimosas, bloody Marys, and there was an awesome improv show, a la, uh, like, whose line was it anyway? Also, <clears throat> before I, I get more into this, gotta say, uh, past me, well, you gotta stop just, like, chilling out in your shield. Oh, oh, okay, well, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure that Shulk's, uh, Smash Monado art was the, basically was the undoing of him, so, whoopsie-daisy, but, anyway, Chicago, uh, really fun, um, Met up with my dad, and we got to like really explore the city. I've been to Chicago a few times. Um, I think that was the third time I've really gotten to like spend a decent chunk of time in the city. But the first time I was with my dad, um, we were there for one day. Um, but we were also there with my stepmom, who is an avid shopper, and that's basically like all we did. Then we had sliced pizza, which was cool. But um, it didn't really get to see much of the city. We also didn't really get to like explore it or anything. So. Um, the second time was when I was in band. Uh, our band actually had a Chicago trip. I think we were there for two days. Um, we actually got to see a lot of the really cool sights. Um, we got to go up inside the Sears Tower. I will never call it Willis Tower. Friggin... Ugh. It, it'll, it will always be Sears Tower. In basically all our hearts, I'm sure. Unless you, like, work there, but... Man, I ain't about that life. I am not about that life. We were... In the band trip, though, we were, like, inside a charter bus, right? So, we also, really nice use of his, uh, shield art. There's gonna be another time, too, where the Shulk, um, I think, like, masterfully <laughs> switches over to shield right before I could probably get the KO on him. So, good for him on that. Fortunately, I did read the getup, so, there's the hashtag. God, I love how, <laughs> love how early it carols, I just... It's such a terrible attack. <laughs> just, like, both parties. And anytime I get off dash attack, I just feel bad. <laughs> You know, if I like if I spike someone or if someone spikes me like, oh, it's like the best feeling in the world. I will if they like taunt, man, I will I will taunt right back. But like in a like, yeah, you know, what? good job. You earn that. If I get a dash attack or if I get that, if I get a DDD dash attack on me, oh, dude, it, oh, <laughs> I just I legitimately feel like the worst, just the worst. <laughs> but um. With with us going to Chicago for the second time, being in the charter bus, we never, like, we got to see a lot of the cool attractions, 
but we never got to really like explore the city. Also, uh, lag messing up my my infinite jab combo vibes. Ugh, lame. So this third time was really the uh, the time that I actually got to just explore and, and see the city for what it was. Uh, by the way, I love how just pretty Chicago is. At least you know downtown. No, oh, excuse me, guys. I'm just hot mess. I apologize. Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> oh god. Uh, oh god, Christ almighty. Wow, how long has this been lasting? Too long, I should say. Um So, yeah, uh first day wasn't too crazy. Uh second day though was when things really spiced up, right? We uh started off by going to this uh place called the Burger or no, called the Shake Shack. A really nice burger shop. Um and I think it was a little overpriced, but you know, the food was still good. Um we also had a beer. Let's go with our with our boogers and I'll be honest man I'm not like a huge beer fan um I think I, I feel like I have to get significantly like buzzed before I can actually like not mind the taste <laughs> but you know that'll come in time the acquired taste because uh, I've always been a goob and I've never really drank like a whole lot of alcohol just like on my own before my 21st so yeah uh, I mean this this past week has really been like a majority of my experience you know Drinking the stuff, so we uh, we end up actually going around and like asking um, like Chicago natives like the best places to drink at, and uh, two people recommended this place called Three Dots in a Dash, which uh, um no so us is like one of the hippest bars you can go to in Chicago. So oh, and I'm gonna chalk that up to DI. I'm gonna say, man, it, again, it's really painful to watch this because. There are so many instances where, like, instead of, like, really focusing on the match and, like, um, in the position of the opponent and all that stuff and, like, paying attention, uh, to that, um, a lot of cases I'm just kind of, like, throwing stuff out, even if there's, like, no possible way it could, like, ever connect, so, um, I don't know what my deal is, man. It's, I feel like it's really bad when I play as DVD, where I'm just, just kind of, like, mindlessly playing, and I really, I need to cut it out, because... <laughs> It is not enjoyable for me to watch, so I don't know about you guys. Although I will say, um, a lot of people really don't like fighting Rosalina. Um, I, <laughs> I really don't mind. I mean, like the hitbox, especially with like Loom involved, are pretty jank on Rosalina. You know, I don't think that's up for debate like one bit. But I just, I, I really enjoy fighting Rosalina. It doesn't really matter who I use, even like Diddy, who's really not that great of a matchup for Rosalina. Um. I just have a lot of fun with it, and whoops a daisy. <laughs> oh, if only DD had a peach, did I do that? You know? But, um, one of the best things about fighting Rosalina as DD is that it is ridiculously easy to kill Luma. Like, look at that. One hit, and boom, dead. Um, drinking game, you know, because I'm talking about that kind of topic. Every time uh, Rosalina, or sorry, every time Luma dies, uh, take a shot. You will probably die. <laughs> Not even kidding. Oh, but yeah, man, I, I love fighting Rosalina, especially the really good ones. And I, and I feel like she's just pretty decent. Dead, dead again. What like? Oh, oh, and the wombo with the Gordo and the sign. Oh, if I had intercepted. Oh, what a bit. If I had, if I just teched. What a what a surprise. But you know what? It's all good. We are significantly in the lead because. Even if, like, DDD and Rosalina were at even percents, I would still be in the lead because it takes much, much more to actually kill uh, DDD than it does for Rosalina. She's... I would say she's pretty floaty, so... <laughs> and then, <laughs> just taking out my aggression on that Luba. <laughs> oh, man. I, I feel like he landed and he just kind of looked at me like, Really, man? Really? Uh, yes, Jish. Yes. Friggin... Sounds like a... You know the the text post with the funny fruit names like Blanaba that Josh Shepson and Super Genius uh, quoted often times in their uh, Donkey Kong Country slash Rayman Origins uh, LPs. I feel like that same guy is the one who uh, made Jish. So Josh, that was a pretty long one way <clears throat> of going about that. Whoops, a Daisy, King DDD, yeah boy. <clears throat> oh. So much in my throat. <coughs> so now he switches over to Peach, and 
Oh my god. I... First off, I don't really fight that many peaches on... Uh, for glory. Like, you, you just really don't see a whole lot of them. So... Um, I'm not super familiar with finding the character, but beyond that, I don't think Peach is a very good matchup for DD. Like, one bit. Um, like, her, her forward air, man, that is, oh, it is too good, actually. Actually too good. Plus, you know, she got the turnips, which are way better than Gordo's. You know, she's got the neutral air to, you know, get out of the, like, infinite jab and all that fun stuff. There was me trying to go for the chain grab, uh, not quite... Uh, fast falling in time, so Anyway, where was I with the Chicago tie? Oh, right, okay, so three dots and dash um, Really cool. It ended up being it's um, we were struggling to find it because it's actually an underground bar um, And the only way to get into it is by going to this like little old alley just like Just randomly in the middle of a block and then going like down these stairs like deep underground um, and uh Basically, like in our in our hunt to actually find the place, we went to a different bar called uh, Bub City, um, which was kind of like a like a southern bar. Uh, inside there was uh, two Chicago natives, uh, Pete and Amber. <laughs> I don't know their last names, but uh, they were awesome. Um, we talked with them for a little bit. Um, we did end up finding the bar before we got into Bub City, but uh, we got there at four o'clock. The bar actually didn't open until 5 p.m., so we had to wait about an hour, and uh, as it turns out, and we didn't know this until a little bit later, but um, those two Chicago natives were doing the same thing. They were trying to get into uh, Three Dots and Dash, so, um, you know, we spent the hour just hanging out with them, talking to them. Um, they bought both me and my mom a, uh, a shot of this really gross, uh, like, Chicago liquor. I think it's like Marlot or something. Um, it's like infamous for being like just one of the worst tasting liquors you can like ever experience, but it's like a Chicago tradition. Uh, it's like Chicago is like the only place you can find it, so it's like a like an initiation, if you will. Little known in fact, uh, we were actually joining a fraternity. 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 I am um, <clears throat> blessed. I'm betrayed by the Jimbles again. Jimbles being Gordo. Anyway, um, so hung out with them, uh, talked to them. Um, their sister ended up meeting us there, uh, because it just, that day happened to be her very first day working in Chicago. Um, so, you know, um, eventually we found out that they were trying to get into Three Dots and Dash as well, so we ended up going to that bar with them. Uh, the five of us, uh, got a booth, got some appetizers, got this giant drink that, like, came in this, like, really cool, like, ornate, um, it was like a giant bowl, but it looked like a pineapple, and it came with a hollowed out lime shell. Or sorry, lime rind with I think it was just like a piece of bread or whatever, but it was on fire. Oh yeah, <laughs> it was really neat. Um, and yeah, it was just it was awesome to like, you know, we just randomly got to know these people and uh, yeah, they were just they were just some of the nicest people you could like ever talk to. Um, so that was that was one of my favorite experiences from the Chicago trip. Um, we hung out with them for pretty pretty uh, long time. After that, though, we went over to Navy Pier, because, I mean, man, when you're in Chicago, you gotta go Navy Pier. And, uh, I don't know, uh, for any of you guys, uh, if you guys have been to Chicago, but, uh, there's a thing they have called the Banana Boats, which are, like, speedboat cruises of, like, the, the coast. And that was super cool as well, so. Um, that was basically our, our second day. Third day, we just basically got up, um, walked the city, uh, found the beach, um, had like lunch at the um like on this restaurant that was like right there facing the water and then we headed home but yeah man all in all uh it was awesome um and yeah i mean my mom wanted to take me to like las vegas for my 21st um and i know i definitely want to go there at some point but i don't know i would not trade the chicago trip for like anything because it was amazing <laughs> also the second day um i got totally trashed and apparently, when I get drunk, I am just like the giggliest, like, like, man, I don't even know. I, apparently, I just get stupidly giggly. So yeah, uh, that was my long-winded explanation of that. So there's a, uh, I have a, there's been a little bit more happening. Um, after we got back, there's been just, oh, just so much going on. But we got some DD uh, dittos, so I think it might be good for us to actually start <clears throat> talking about what's been happening in the video. But first, I'm gonna take a sip of my juice. 
Mm. So that's the thing. Um, I'm sure you've seen me, you know, doing it a lot. And obviously this guy uh, has done it a lot too, but... I mean, normally... Oh, okay. Actually, before I get into that, you, you'll you notice right there, I try going for the chain grab, but when it lands, I... Or, like, when we land, sorry. <laughs> nice Goro sticking. Um, I notice that the... Uh, that the opponent lands behind me, right? So I, I missed the grab. Um, keep that in mind, not for this match, but for the last one. Also, <laughs> just... Man, I'm still shocked that that Gordo hit him. Just, it, again, man, it just... It feels so, like, shameful when you get hit by your own Gordo, you know? He's like your child, you know? You don't want to get backstabbed by your own, by your own chillin'. And why I decided to go for that when I knew that it would suck him right in for that down smash. Man, I think that's anyone's guess. I have no idea what's going on through my mind, but... But anyway, yeah, um... Normally, using DDD's forward smash, not an ultra-viable move, because obviously the charge of time and the end lag is actually ridiculous. But, um... Using it against ledge can actually be really good, um, because for a lot of characters, it will, like, hit... You know, I mean, it has a huge hitbox above DDD, so... Uh, there's a good chance you'll hit someone if they try jumping up. Uh, if you space right, it will also cover their getup and uh, also rolling options because, um, I mean, obviously, you know, the move kills stupid early if you hit with a hammer, but there's also a, like, a shockwave hitbox that extends pretty decently far, like, in front of the hammer as well. So it's a case where, like, even if you don't hit with, like, the, the part of the move you really want to hit with, um, you'll probably still hit the opponent and at least, like, get them away from you so you don't get punished for all that end lag, so. Oh. And I go trying to go for a read. <laughs> What's not happening? Another case of, man, don't don't go for forward smash unless you're, like, edge guarding or you shield break or something. <laughs> Although, always go for jet hammer because you know that's going to be a good time, especially when you're making a undy-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-dee-d